I follow my wife's Reddit account to anonymously give her awards. It started with me browsing the curly hair subreddit. My wife always struggled with frizz, so I lurked there to get ideas for a hair care gift package. By chance, I saw she'd posted a selfie, along with the caption, The lion's mane behaved itself today. She was sitting across from me in the lounge, eyes fixed on her phone. I clicked on the post and gave it an award. A few seconds later, her face lit up. Everything okay? I asked. Just some funny messages in the group chat, she answered. From there, I stalked her profile daily. Anytime the two of us were in the lounge, I'd award her posts and watch her smile and kick her feet around, excited. This insider information helped me nail her birthday gift and gave me ideas for our anniversary. It felt like I'd turned on the cheat codes to our marriage. But after I lost my job, her posts took a turn. She began browsing the marriage, relationship advice subs, and after three weeks of me bombing countless interviews, she asked for tips over on dead bedrooms. Like I needed a reminder I couldn't perform. It was hard not revealing I knew she shared intimate details about our relationship with strangers online. But if I told her, she'd just make a new account, and I'd lose my window into her innermost thoughts. Her original posts had gained some traction, which meant tons of users asked for an update. Then she posted about how the situation had gotten worse. She wrote about how now I snapped over every little thing and had even started lashing out. The tension continued to swell. Soon came the ultimate gut punch, a confession post entitled, I am terrified of my husband. Can you imagine what would have happened if a Reddit user went radio silent after that bombshell? It would have caused a scandal, an investigation. Talk about your wake-up calls. I calmed things down by cooking a few romantic meals and told her I was deeply sorry for dumping my frustrations on her. I even bought the damn hair care package. This made her post some positive updates. She wrote that, although we had a long way to go, things were definitely looking up. That we'd be okay. But the fact is, things aren't okay. And they'll never be okay again, now I know what she really thinks of me. So I searched for subs she was still actively participating in. Subs like this one. And then I sat down to write my first ever post. She's sitting opposite me as I type this. There's a knife under my armchair, and I already know how I'll dispose of the body. Now it's just a case of waiting for her to read my confession and realize what's about to happen. So if you're reading this, Maria, it's time to look up.